So welcome to part 3 of our CQRS and event sourcing with Axon framework tutorial and today we are going to actually be uh, beginning to begin to set up the commands, the event and the aggregate. So now what are the commands? Commands are state changing requests that are made to the data store. So when you have uh, uh, requests that are going to change the state of the data. Uh, that is a command. Whereas if you have data requests, uh, you are trying to get uh, query the data just to get read-only access to the data. That is a query. An aggregate is uh, defined as I think I, I should have it here, more like a class, a collection of of of, of objects that are that are in a consistent state. I think I, I think it will be clearer as we go. So we are going to be setting up the commands, the event, and the aggregate. And we're also going to be setting up the commands, the events, and uh, the commands handlers and event handlers. So these are the, the four subtopics we are going to be covering. Again, these are linked to this website, the step by step, the codes, everything is here. In the description box, you'll find link to this page so that if you miss out something, you can actually go back to cross check. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed, hit on the subscribe button below because this is actually the, the, the new way of programming and I want as many as possible to learn CQRS and event sourcing and Axon framework is the way to go. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we want to do is to write the commands and the events. Remember that we choose Kotlin when we set up the project. We say we are going to be using Kotlin and Java mixed up. The reason is that Kotlin provides a simple way of writing classes in just one line. So imagine you write a class of the constructors, get a set as the to string everything just in one single line. Besides several of such classes, Kotlin classes can be placed in a single Kotlin file. Such classes are called data classes. So let's get started. Step one says add a Kotlin file in the command package and name it the API. So this is if the file is going to uh, contain our data classes. So in the command package, I'm going to right click and just say new Kotlin file and I'm going to name it API, right? So I'm going to write the classes for the issue command, issue events, redeem, redeem command and redeem event. So basically, uh, in Axon framework or in the uh, CQRS um, kind of programming, you have to issue event the commands. If a command is issued and it successfully executes, then we erase an event to persist or to 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 um, publish an event that a command has been a command has been executed. All right, so so write the classes. Okay, that is fine. Um, so the first thing we want to do here, I'll simply say data class issue command. So the name of the command is going to be an issue command because remember we mentioned that in a gift card, you need to issue a gift card. So basically the first time a gift card is created is issued. So more like the first issue command um, is going to be um, to create a new gift card. So, so the command is it's going to be, but for now, what we are defining is the issue commands. They are just simply data classes. And it's going to be something like this. All right, so going through do this, all right. So the first thing we want inside here, I'm going to say val id is going to be string. Uh, val ID is going to be string, okay, and our amount as well, val amount is going to be string as well, all right. So, I uh, remember I told you you can actually put this class in one line, so you can actually lay it out in one line, but to make for code clarity, I'm going to just leave it in several lines like this. So I'm going to write another data class. This time is going to be for the issue event. So when you are issuing, issuing a new card, you need the ID and you need the initial amount. In the case of issue events, issue issued events, because issued event means that um, an event is to, to publish an event that has already occurred. So that's why we use uh, the, the, the past times for the name of the class. So I'm going to say val, the same ID uh, is gonna be string and val amount 
is going to be string as well. Right. So for the remaining one, redeemed command and the redeemed event is going to be about the same. Actually, I could have just copied it from my website, and but I actually recommend you type it out yourself so that you actually improve your proficiency in, in, in programming. So this is redeemed, redeemed, redeemed event. Okay. So we need to tell um, um, Kotlin not configured means what? So configure Java with Maven, Java with Maven is fine. So all models, all models. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think we okay. So fine. So let's say, let's say okay, perfect. So hmm, what happened? Okay, so let's go back here. So now we are going to tell. Um, we can actually ignore this. So we can actually take all this. So we are now going to tell. Um, uh, we are going to tell. We are going to tell Axon that the, the, the ID is actually the, 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 the ID, which is this one. So to do that, you simply use an annotation called a target aggregate identifier. So that is what you are going to use uh, just with the okay. So we just simply import the necessary. So you are going also going to use it in the in the in the in the, in the issue command, the issue issue command, and we are going to use it in the in the redeem command as well. All right. So at uh, this point, we've set up. We've set up the, the API, okay? So the next thing is to set up the aggregate, okay? An aggregate is a logical group of entities that is that is treated as a single unit. So in our, our aggregate in this case would be a gift card, more like the object, uh, the object we are talking about. But in this case, an object can be made, made up of other subclasses. So we are going to create a Java file in the command package, and that is going to be our git path. So I'm going to right click. This time I'm going to go to Java class. I'm going to call it gift card. So this is going to be our aggregate. Annotate it with at aggregate annotation. And step three says create a private member variable with ID and it will be a string. So I'm going to just say private uh, string ID. Okay. Um, so this time we are going to add command handler. So a command handler is simply a function that specifies what happens when a command is executed. Command handlers are normally void functions with the name handle, and it takes as parameter the command they are going to respond to. So we have four different command handlers. So instead of typing it, I'm going to simply copy them one after the other and pasting it one after the other. So the first one is the issue command, the gift card, uh, the command handler for gift card. What happens when a, a, a gift card is issued or when an, an issue command is executed? So that will be right here. So um, let's see, import class is fine. Uh, CMD dot get amounts. So um, okay, so if CMD. Oh, so actually the amount here is not going to be a string; it's going to be int. So that's a mistake I made. So let's, let's just save everything. Uh, So actually, there's a typo, so it's going to be with capital letters right here. So just save everything, save all. Okay. So I'm going back to my gift card, so everything is fine. Um, so we have this. Okay. So actually, I copied, I didn't copy the complete. Okay. So I'm going to copy the complete class. So it's a command handler that handles the, 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 the issue command. So this is a complete class. Permit me to just add back this at this end. So aggregate lifecycle, I'm just simply going to import class. So that's fine. Um, get ID issue events, CMD that get ID. Um, let's see. 
Okay, issue, are they secondary controls? Construct or issue the event. So let's go back to our API. Issue the events, that is fine. Okay. So CMD does get ID sign. Issue events. Let's see. Issue events. Okay, so you have the val here is going to be int as well. And the var here is going to be int. The var here as well is going to be int. All right. So let's go back to our gift card and everything goes. So let's add a command handler that's going to be executed when a uh, when um a card is redeemed. So I'm going to just copy it at this point. So I'm going to copy and okay. So what is happening in this place is that when a gift card is issued, if the amount is less than zero for sure, it doesn't work because you can't issue a gift card with a negative amount or a zero amount. There must be some amount, some value of the zip card. So that's why we are throwing an exception when the amount is less than equal to zero. So once the, 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 the command is executed, we are going to apply a new issue event at this point. Again, the same thing actually happens when we redeem, uh, when we issue, when we execute a redeemed command. We are going to check if the commands, uh, the amount is less than equal to zero. In that case, we also throw um, an exception that says the amount is less than equal to zero. Now, when we want to also redeem an event, we are going to make sure that the amount we are redeeming must be less than the balance. So if the amount less than equal to the balance, but if it's greater than the balance, then we are going to throw out uh, an exception. Again, so we also have this state here. The balance is not being created, so we simply create it as well. So we make sure that we only add the necessary states that relates to, to the commands being executed. So in this case, I'm simply going to create um, a variable balance in gift card. So it's going to be in. So I'm creating it right here. So the next thing we want to do is to, okay, this I executed step two at this point, create an empty private constructor as well. So uh, so it's simply simply say um, public gift card. So we simply um, constructor because we need the the, the 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 aggregate is created before the event is executed. So we need an empty constructor for that. So the nice thing is to add the event sourcing handler. So an event sourcing handler is an event executed when an event occurs. They are normally functions with the name on. In this case, we have two events, sourcing handlers. So the first one is the issued event, event sourcing handler when an event is issued. So that is on issued events. So I'm simply going to paste it right here. So we have the event sourcing handler for issued event. In this case, we are issuing event for a new card. So we simply get the, the states of the card being issued. Uh, and which is the balance, we set the balance to be the amount for when a new card is issued, the ID is the ID and the balance is exactly the, the original uh, the original um, amount that it was created with. And this time when a card is redeemed, we are going to subtract the amount from the, the, the balance. And in that case, we have the balance going to balance minus the amount that was redeemed and then uh, that is the only thing we need to do when a, card, a, a gift card is redeemed. So at this point, we have completed writing the event handlers. So I'd like to recommend you build the project and also make sure everything is fine. So try to get your head around it. Remember, as a recap, we created four command handle, uh, two command handlers for issue command and a redeem command and we created two event sourcing handlers so one for issued event and one for redeemed event so i'd like to thank you for being there let's continue doing this together i'd like to say for now maybe it may be difficult for you to follow but uh, i recommend that you continue to follow along gradually it becomes clearer as you go because uh, the, the cqrs and event sourcing way of programming for microservices requires a bit of learning curve so let's just do this together so in, in, in part four, we are now going to start building the GUI. At this point, we are done with the, the, the command side of the, of the microservices. So I'm going to now save everything. I'm going to save everything. 
you want, you can just right click, click on run and simply, uh, okay, I don't have option to build at this point. I think I could. <coughs> Sorry for that. So I can actually build the module and that is fine. So uh, I would like to stop here. I remain kind to the tech pro. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed and we'll see you in part four.